Okay, so today we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. So parallel lines are two lines that never intersect, and perpendicular lines are lines that intersect to form a 90-degree angle. Parallel lines are parallel and never intersect because they have the same slope. Think about y equals mx plus b that we've been working on. The m is your slope, so when you're solved for y, the m is what's in front of the x. So if you have y equals 1 half x plus 3 and y equals 1 half x minus 7, those two are parallel because the slopes are the same. So because we have 1 half and 1 half, those slopes are the same, so those two lines are parallel. So in order to tell the slope, you have to have it solved for y. So M and M, they're the same. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. Opposite means sines, so one has to be positive, one has to be negative. Reciprocal means that it's flipped over. So for example, Y equals 2 thirds X plus 1, and Y equals negative 3 over 2 X minus 7 would be perpendicular, because this one has a slope of 2 thirds, this one has a slope of negative 3 halves. One's positive, one's negative, so that means they're opposites. And then if you take 2 thirds and flip it over, you get 3 over 2. All vertical lines and all horizontal lines are perpendicular. So vertical lines are up and down, horizontal lines are side to side. So if you put those together, they are perpendicular. So our first example is our y equals 2 thirds x plus 5 and negative 4x plus 6y equals 14 parallel or perpendicular. So if we look at our first equation, y equals 2 thirds x plus 5, our slope is 2 thirds. Because y is by itself, we don't have to do any work, we can just go right to the slope being 2 thirds. The second one, y is not by itself, so we have to get it that way. So we're going to add 4x to both sides. 6y equals 14 plus 4x, divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6, and you can use your calculator to simplify those. So we get y equals 7 thirds plus 2 thirds x. Slope is what's in front of the x, so our slope is 2 thirds. So you can see this one has a slope of 2 thirds, this one has a slope of 2 thirds, so they are parallel. They're parallel because the slopes are the same. And you can confirm that using your calculator by going to y equals. You can type in alpha y equals 2 thirds x plus 5 and go to y2 alpha y equals and hit graph and you can see that they're going to be two parallel lines. Okay, so let's go on to number two. Our y equals negative one half x minus one and negative two x plus y equals six parallel or perpendicular. So just like the last problem that we did, y equals negative one-half x minus one is already solved for us, so m is negative one-half. But the second one is not solved for y, so we have to get it there. So we add two x to both sides, and you get y equals six plus two x. So the slope of it is two. So in order to be parallel, they have to be the same. Negative one-half and two are not the same, so it is not parallel. For perpendicular, they have to be opposite, reciprocals. So to check for opposite, one has to be positive, one has to be negative. So we have negative, we have positive, they're opposites. Check. For reciprocals, they have to be flipped over. So if we take one half and flip it over, we get two over one. Is two over one the same thing as two? Yes. So they are opposite reciprocals, so these two lines are perpendicular. So 
So let's look at number three. Our x equals two and y equals four, parallel or perpendicular. So we talked yesterday about x equals two. x equals two is a vertical line. And y equals four is a horizontal line. So what do you know about every vertical line and every horizontal line? Together they are perpendicular. Question number four, what is the slope of the line parallel to 5x minus 7y equals 8? Well, in order to find the slope of the parallel line, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to find the slope of this one. So subtract 5x divide by negative 7. Okay, so we get y equals negative 8 sevenths plus 5 sevenths x. Now, parallel means that it has to have the same slope as this one. So this one has a slope of 5 sevenths, so the parallel line has to have a slope of 5 sevenths also, because parallel means that they're the same. So number five, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to 3x plus y equals 8? Again, we have to know the slope of 3x plus y equals 8 before we can find the slope of the perpendicular line. So minus 3x, minus 3x. So our slope is negative 3. So for perpendicular, we have to have the opposite reciprocal. So this one is negative 3. So the opposite of negative is positive. And then we take that 3 and think about it being over 1, and we flip it over. So the slope of the perpendicular line is positive 1 third. So parallel lines, same slope, perpendicular lines, opposite reciprocals.